Now that Nico is gone, all the fish will be mine. <laughs> I got the lake to myself. Uh, it's probably good morning, guys. How's it going? Welcome back to the channel. So today, I'm with a new friend, Nico, What's going from on? Uh, Outdoor Anonymous, and we're uh, chasing some black crappies. So I've personally never caught a black crappie before, so I'm hoping today's gonna be the day. Actually, I've never even targeted them, so. So the beaver slayer over here says that we might have a good chance getting on some fish. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna we're gonna chase them around, chase them around the, the lake here today. So we've got about uh, 10 holes punched out to start. Uh, we haven't got lines in the water yet, but we're gonna do that right away. Uh, we're gonna start off in the deeper basins just to see if they're still there and if not we're gonna try to chase them into the shallow areas and uh, into some structure as well so we'll find them we'll find them yeah today's supposed to be a beautiful nine degrees so I mean you can't really ask for better weather in uh, Man Manitoba so one thing I want to mention to you guys um, if you guys are into everything that I like you should definitely go and check out uh, Nico's channel it's uh, outdoors anonymous I will put uh, the link down in the description to get over to his channel he just got into trapping, he got himself some beavers, so you're probably going to see some pretty wicked stuff coming on his channel right away. Alright guys, so we're fishing in about 22 feet of water. We're going to see if they're holding up still in the deep pockets. If not, we'll move around. I mean, it's a beautiful day, so... I'll punch 30 holes if I have to get my first crappy. I don't care. So, right now I'm just going to set up my, uh, my homemade jaw jacker show you guys here how, how we get this all set up so i will be doing a build, build video on this um in a couple weeks just been so busy lately so set our mouse trap because that's going to be our trigger watch your fingers obviously and then take my rod tip Snake it under here and on the little holding pin and put the line across the trigger. And there we go. When there's a strike, it should go and uh, there'll be a fish on the table. I don't know if you guys hear and see that, but that's the first geese of the season I see. So that just means spring's around the corner. Pretty dang cool. Definitely warming up. It's kind of nice. I'm pretty excited for open water season uh, definitely got a lot of wicked stuff planned for the summer gonna definitely bring you guys on a lot of my fishing adventures we are going to uh, definitely go chase some cats and some drums on the old Red River with, with, with my eight weight fly rod which is just a hoot gonna go out and call, go for small mouth we got a poker tournament this summer so yeah, there's a lot of fun things coming down the pipeline and then I'm super excited. Um, this winter has been kind of a uh, mixed bag of emotions with a lot of family stuff going on. Um, so I'm hoping to get out a little bit more this, this summer. Uh, Olivia's gonna be old enough now, I'm gonna bring her camping. So I know she's super excited to go fishing for her first time. So I cannot wait to see that little girl on a fish. But yeah, I'm gonna try this spot right now. I haven't marked, I marked the second I dropped down. I uh, haven't marked since. So I'm gonna try this hole for another 10 minutes and then I'll, uh, I'll move. I'm not gonna get married to too many holes if I don't see any fish on the, on the old Garmin, so. Well, fishing's been pretty slow so far this morning. Uh, Shane got a little, little pike and Nico got a little 10 inch crappy. Nope, should still be there. Feels like it's still there. Yeah. I'm on. Finally. Oh, crappie, baby. Yay. Woo! Ho ho, jaw jacker pulls through. Afternoon crappie. <laughs> it's a small guy, though. All right, there we go, guys. A little guy, but a fish is a fish. And we're finally on. It's like 11.30 right now. And uh, we've been fishing here since like I got I think we got lines in the water around eight o'clock, so three hours. First fish here for me, first crappie of the day, at least here anyways. He's uh ten inches, he's a little small. Debating if we should keep him or let him go. I think we're probably just gonna let this guy go, guys. 
he is uh, pretty small he doesn't look very meaty either anyways so let's let him go here I got a couple bites marking a lot of fish just uh, nothing's committing so I guess it's time for lunch got the stick stove fired up here and uh, definitely gonna cook up some of my my homemade deer sausage once this gets all warmed up stick stove action now this this is the thing dreams are made of right here Stella. I got a little bannock now on the stick stove. Let that cook up. Tasty with a little honey. Now we got the tasty bannock. Mm. That's good. Got some good, good honey on top. Mm. Well guys, it's been a hard day of fishing so far. Moving on to spot number four. Fishing's not always fast and furious, you know. Sometimes sometimes it's slow and monotonous. Sometimes you gotta put your work in. And who knows, maybe I'm only gonna get one fish today. But you know what? I might even get zero fish. We we don't even know. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that's fishing. Definitely not called catching. And honestly, if fishing was that easy, I wouldn't be doing it. It's always good to have a little challenge. Heck, I'm fishing a new lake I've never fished before, after a species I've never fished before, so there's gonna be a little bit of a learning curve. Oh, oh. <laughs> you know what? I don't know how many times I've had fishing days like that where you catch like a fish like right away, I'm like, no, nope, no, nope, too small, throw it back, and then you don't catch it. <laughs> <laughs> the rest of the day. He doesn't want my minnow. <laughs> you see now this this is the technique, you know, you get right down, down on almost all fours, kind of do a little yoga move. This is what gets the fish in. Yeah, you know you're getting serious when you get into that pose. <laughs> Come on, baby! <laughs> the desperate fisherman in yoga pose. <laughs> I'll show you guys what I'm seeing here. You guys can see that, but look at that. Just beautiful marks. Just beautiful marks, just hanging out, saying what's up, not wanting what I got. Like they even chase it. They didn't even chase it. I think, I think fish o'clock is right around the corner. Sense it. <laughs> so I said this was fish clock. I think I meant it's marker clock as I'm marking fish like crazy but still no bites. <laughs> so we got the awesome jaw jacker that's doing nothing. <laughs> we got this hole that's doing about as good as the other holes with rods on them. <laughs> here we got Nico's big setup right here that's also doing nothing. <laughs> <laughs> and then you got the store bought jaw, jaw jacker that's also doing nothing except you know what no this is the champ this guy actually caught one today so <laughs> we're gonna give that first prize right now <laughs> but no it's it's a it's a, machine, it's, a only, it's a the only one that caught a fish today was a machine <laughs> yeah. but uh now yeah there's only one other group that's still on the lake with us, and uh, they haven't caught shit either. So, <laughs> just one of those days. One of those days. Not gonna be a gangbuster send off to the ice fishing season, that's for sure. One fish would be nice though. That's all I ask for sometimes. One little fishy. But, you know what? I still got a little bit of daylight left, and I'm not ready to give up just yet. So looks like Nico is gonna be taken off. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna soldier on here. I'm gonna stay here till uh, probably six six thirty. I'm determined. Might not get one, but I'm damn determined. But anyways, we're gonna give Nico a nice nice big send off. 
and I will put the the link to his channel down in the descriptions. Like I said, he's he's into hunting, he's into fishing, he has some gun reviews and stuff like all that kind of stuff. So if you enjoy my stuff, you're gonna enjoy his stuff. Um, he's known as Outdoor Anonymous. That's the, his channel name. And you know what? This is my first time meeting him, and I I feel I think we're gonna have a couple more videos together. Oh yeah, for you know sure. we got the um, uh, walleye poker tournament coming up too, so we're, we'll definitely have that for sure. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, I uh, we definitely got to get out and do. Uh, oh, we got to do some fly fishing. Yeah. Uh, this spring and summer together too. Yeah, so. I finally found a Manitoban that fly fishes as well, so I'm pretty excited. And he has never gotten a cat on the fly rod, so I'm pretty excited to see his face when he hooks into one of those, cause that's a hoot. <laughs> It's gonna be so, fun. Yeah. yeah. So, uh, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Um, like I said, we're, we're staying. He's going. We're staying. We might even, we we might even try another spot. You know, there's some weeds over there. Maybe we'll we'll go try something different. Maybe we'll get a toothy little pike bastard out of the hole. <laughs> Who knows? All I know is uh, we we've, we've marked a shit ton of fish today, and we drilled a lot of holes. Nothing's biting. We've hit points, we've hit deep, we've hit shallow. Just nothing. But that's the way she goes sometimes. But uh, yeah, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Oh, there's those geese again. Welcome home, geese. For all the, all the people that watched this uh, edit all the way to the end, thank you said this one wasn't probably the most exciting one but you know what that's fishing you win some you lose some but uh that's gonna be the cap off for the 2021 season so hopefully next winter will be a better season anyways thanks for watching and there's some way better videos coming up so uh stay tuned and don't forget to go uh see my buddy nico over there at uh Outdoor Anonymous. Alright guys, I'll catch you guys on the next one.